So I haven't been playing a lot of this, but I have started to play a little bit of All-Star Tower Defense trying to catch up in the game. And well, uh, you guys probably already see what I'm gonna do for this video, but I've been doing a little bit of catch up, a little bit of summoning, and a little bit of grinding, which is what I'll do again today in this video, but I kind of wanted to showcase two very special units that I've actually managed to get in the game. Well, actually three. I managed to get three very good units. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure to smash the like button. Toad, why aren't you playing AA? Well, um, right now, I'm in like an AA standstill where there's not really much for me to do other than me to get Brooks, and I don't really care for Brooks right now. I've tried to get Ghetto so many times. I've done that run at least like 60 times, and I have not been able to get Ghetto. So, because I don't have anything to do as of right now for AA, I decided that I needed to play something, which is why I'm here in ASTD. Correct. We're here with ASTD today, um, and well, you guys already see what I got that's new. For starters, if you guys have not used any of the codes already, make sure you use all the all-star code, all-star tower defense codes that you can. Um, I'm gonna go share, ah, uh, I'm gonna share a couple with you guys right here right now so over here go to settings and then these codes you must use these codes for this one you must be level 40 in order to claim this two year anniversary the next code you guys can use is new star code that'll give you 90 of these purple shards the next code is stardust update so stardust update that'll give you 5,000 gems and then hooray 50k will give you like I think some more gems but those are the codes that I know of right now off the top of my head when you get codes you're gonna go over here to the summon section um, there's different banners you guys can summon in there's X Y oh it has UG on that one cool Z which I don't have Z yet and then G we suggest which is just a gold banner um, I suggest you hold your gold until you know what you're summoning for um, I'll do a quick little summoning here so you guys can see what the summoning looks like on the banner X. What do we get? We get Sakura. You can click open all here. It's a lot better. You can see animations kind of, you know, normal little summoning animations. I didn't get anything special, but as you guys see in my inventory, I do have these special units. So how do I get these special units? Well, over here there's a special summons and there's all of these banners here. That's how you actually get this like little stardust looking thing. So I've been doing these banners um, and well, I've actually gotten some pretty crazy characters. So the first character I got is the Gohan right there. Here's his regular stats, that's him at that state, and then there's him at that state at level one. So very, I think that's the same stats, but he's an air hitter, which is insane. So I do want to get him to seven stars, but I don't even have him six stars yet. So that'll probably take a while. We got Gohan from this banner, we actually got, um, Diavolo, D Diavolo, there we go, um, Diavolo, so there we go, we got him right there, which is really cool as well, these are the best characters you guys can get from these banners, and I actually got all of them, and then from over here, oh, I haven't gotten that one yet, but from over here, I got the Vegeta, isn't that crazy, we got the Vegeta, I almost thought I got this one here, but I didn't, I'm gonna try to get the Zoro though, because he looks pretty cool, we did get, um, uh, her and I think I got him as well but look at this Vegeta real, real quick guys yeah I got some really strong units and I kind of wanted to showcase them today in this quick little video now um, go to your avatar click on the thing over here this is how you equip your mounts and everything I have the snake yes it's a snake it's huge why is it such a big snake anyways we got a snake here and uh, let's go ahead and go into a regular story mode right here and what I want to do is kind of place all three of the units and do my best of showcasing them. Um, okay, so I am only on stage 11, which is Magic Town, but I was on stage like nine not too long ago, so I'm progressing decently fast. Select that and quick start. The one thing I really like about ASTD that AA does not have yet, I would say, I'm only going to say yet because I think AA is going to add this in the future is the option for dun, 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 uh, load the option for 
two times speed. You guys will see that you can actually make everything go two times faster. There it is, bottom left corner. Increase max speed to two times. So I actually really like that. Um, it makes gameplay a lot quicker. You don't have to spend as much time in the game. And you can choose normal or extreme load when you actually start the dungeon, as opposed to choosing it before the dungeon starts. So I think I like that, but then again, if you were doing it with other people, people can vote extreme. So first thing I want to start showcasing is this Diavolo here. Let's go ahead and place him right there. That's probably a really bad slot for him, but let's see what he can do. He disappeared. Hello? Hello? Where'd he go? I lost my money and I didn't get my unit. What's going on, game? Please, please let him stay there. Uh, what does he do? Is he weird? <laughs> does he summon units? He disappeared. Uh, I think I made a mistake, guys. I shouldn't have started with Diavolo. I'm probably gonna lose now on the first round. That's kind of upsetting. Uh, don't ask me what happened because I don't know what happened there. Hopefully I can get at least 500 cash relatively quickly and I'll be able to place Gohan down. You guys can see at least Gohan and what he does, but it's not looking too good. All right, they're decelerating at least. Come on. Let me place Gohan down. Please get the round. Please, please, please. No, it's not enough cash. Well, well, that's embarrassing. I guess we gotta try that again. We're back again, and this time we're gonna start with Gohan because that was weird. My DFO disappeared, but there is Gohan right there. Priority AOE first, 3000 damage, 8 SPA, and 40 range. Now, I really, really, really don't like the SPA on this Gohan. I'm not gonna lie. So, I might have to leave this at like regular speed, but. We'll just let it be. There we go. There's his attack right there. Very cool. He summons like the little Masenko style attacks, attacks, um, whatever you want to call them there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Gohan's base level right there. I do need to place uh, someone back here or else I'm just going to lose again. Um, so we'll probably just place another Gohan here. And then this way the front and the back are kind of defended for the time being. But I do need to put a Goku here, because Goku is an air hitter. Um, and he just... Here, we'll put his priority to... Air. There we go. So he's going to hit the air units for me. Um, while we're doing that, we can finally place our Bulma down and start getting a little bit more cash. You know, you always need a Bulma in any type of, like, tower defense game. It's going to help you guys out tremendously. So, look at how cool Gohan looks. This is level 5. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so there we go. Um, I might have to upgrade... Oh my gosh, 10,000 for Gohan's first upgrade. But it also gets him an extra 30,000 damage. It seems like Gohan's a little too strong for this zone, if you guys know what I mean. Like, that's really OP. But for me, currently, like, that doesn't help me much out at all. Like, I gotta keep upgrading like Goku here, because there's powerful two enemies already, um, and they're definitely gonna get through if I don't kill them. So, there's that. Um, I'm gonna keep upgrading Bulma, because Goku and Gohan here should be able to hold off for at least a little bit. Um, I do have this Gohan back here as well. Um, I'll just place another Gohan, so there's a total of three that you can place down so far. I think it's either five or eight, but let me keep upgrading Bulma here. That way I can try to max out Gohan. He's really expensive for some reason, and I think it does not get any cheaper at all when you're trying to upgrade him. So there we go. Bulma's almost halfway. Actually, I think she's halfway leveled up right now, so we're doing pretty good so far. Um, Doku should be able to hold these guys off. We should be okay. Actually, what I can do, after my next Bulma upgrade, I can place Vegeta down. And you guys get to see how cool Vegeta's attack is. It's a lot like Gohan's, but it's a lot cooler. I'm not gonna lie. 3,500 damage versus 3,000. 5 second SPA versus 40 second, or f versus 8 second SPA. So I actually think Vegeta's better than Gohan, especially for me currently. And he's a lot cheaper to upgrade, as you guys can see. I'm gonna keep upgrading Bulma here once more, and then we'll do... Mm. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save the rest of my cash. I'm gonna start upgrading Gohan, I guess. I really like Vegeta, guys. Vegeta's really good, really OP. But here's the first upgrade for Gohan. 10,000. He's doing 33,000 damage. That's the one thing about Gohan versus Vegeta is that Vegeta has more upgrades, 
Gohan immediately gets stronger and has less upgrades. So I can see why Gohan would be good. It's just not amazing for me specifically. Upgrade again, and then he gets the dad Sunbeam. So he'll do 163, 100. 71, sorry, 170,000 damage every 8 seconds. I really don't like the really long SBA. It doesn't help me. It's very, very, like, bad, actually, in my opinion. But he does a good amount of damage. He doesn't have an Ord. I know Ords are huge in this game mode. So I gotta try to find out what Ord he's gonna need. But here's Vegeta's upgrade, and then his is like a 10,000 upgrade next again. See, he's a lot cheaper to upgrade. He's a lot weaker currently when it comes to damage, but he's going to help me out more than this Gohan is because I can just keep upgrading Vegeta's as opposed to Gohan. See? 49,000 damage right there, 120 range, and it's uh, 5 seconds versus the whole 8 seconds that Gohan has. So he'll attack twice as fast when Gohan will only hit once. That's why I really like the Vegeta unit as opposed to this Gohan. Um, and then we do have this Diavolo. I don't know. I, I, I can't place him. I can keep placing him, but it's not doing anything. I don't know. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight Gohans down. A total of eight. And then Vegeta's we can place down three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, you can also place eight Vegeta's down too. So very good. Very cool units. I have no idea what this third unit does. I can keep placing him indefinitely. All I keep doing is losing money, honestly. <laughs> Wait, I'm literally only losing money. What? All right, well, he's actually broken currently, but there we go. We finally managed to defeat it and not lose it in the first round. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more ASTD videos, if I should keep working on it. But that's basically it for this video. I'll see you later. Reese's Thesis. Bye!